dance for me. Oh yeah. Oh, oh nice hook. No. No, we'll go under the motor. We'll go under the motor. Parmesan crusted catfish. How's that sound? Good. Because that's what we're making. Hey, Mickey Bone Gang, if you know what this is, then you know we're going after some cat daddy, some catfish. So I got two containers of big old juicy uh, night crawlers that we're going to use to catch bluegill. Put the bluegill on the jug lines. Jug lines will catch the catfish in theory, in hopes. Uh, so it's kind of an unofficial food chain challenge. But I'm going to go ahead and put some night crawlers on the jugs because I know catfish like worms. And we'll have those sitting out while we go try and catch some, some perch uh, in the meantime. For those who aren't familiar with this, this is an alternative to the old traditional jug line, which you would just take a jug, two liters, something like that, tie a string on it, tie a hook at the end, put your bait on it, and just chunk it out there. And uh, the, the jug would act as like a cork. The catfish would go, eat it take it and you just go back around grab your jug catfish on the other end bada bing bada boom now the thing i like about these is for one they're a lot slimmer so you can fit them all in a bucket you can fit a lot more on a boat a lot less bulky you can wrap the line around just to keep it from uh, tangling and everything but the cool thing about these is this is just a hollow pvc pipe capped on the end and it has a piece of rebarb in it you can hear that and you just put your bait on the hook you throw it out there. Now, I like to have uh, a long line with a weight on the end because if you can see the winds blowing like this, that sucker be down the bayou before you know it. I've, I've had it one time when I was putting them down canal and it was running out the end of the canal before I even finished putting them out. So I like to put a little weight on the bottom of it and that way when uh, also when a fish bites it, they don't go too far, gets caught up in the underground vegetation, the underwater vegetation, and they don't go too far so you ain't gotta chase them. You know what I mean? But anyway, you take this thing, you put your bait on there and this one you can kind of load it. You take it. Put that uh float all the way to that end the opposite end of your hook and you do this you hear that that rebar goes to this side so when it lays in the water it's gonna lay flat like that in the water and then when they grab it it's gonna stand up that that uh rebar comes down hits the bottom makes it stand up and it also when it makes that thump the catfish kind of takes off because it scares them and they set the hook on themselves so now let's go see if my little perch hole is still producing ain't been here in quite a while Oh, and by the way, make sure you check your state if you're going to use these because Louisiana just passed the law that you need your name, your phone number, and your license number on the jug. But I'm going to blur that out so y'all not calling me all hours of the night. All right, I guess it finally stopped raining. Uh, it'd been drizzling all morning. It was actually raining when I got up, even though the Weather Channel been saying that it wasn't supposed to rain for the last two days. They said it was 1% chance today. Well, that 1% turned into... A one zero zero percent and it's quite a bit chilly it was like 50 something degrees this morning the high 50s in april in southeast louisiana i ain't complaining though because i know that summer's coming it's gonna be hot it's gonna be too daggum hot but they got a lot of motion and commotion going on around here tell you what if we uh can get some catfish running on them jugs we might switch to bass fishing after or well, if we don't get nothing on them jugs we're gonna switch to bass fishing heck i might switch to bass fishing regardless but for now we're gonna stick with the mission at hand. It's plum chili, I tell you what. Plum chili. All right, boys. Y'all biting this morning or what? Oh, there we go. A little bobbing, a little bobbing and weaving. Yeah, because we got one. Ooh, little goggle eye. Look at you. Good size for bait right there. Caught him in the eyes, Chef. Right. I don't need many because we can cut those down to some cut bait. And I only got uh well five, six, seven, eight, eight or nine of them with weights on them, and I got two extras, but I don't know if I got anything else to weigh them down. And I ain't chasing them down to buy you. Oof. Oof. Took a little bit of Spanish moss with that guy. Let me see if it's still stuck on the hook. Yeah, it is. Ain't gonna get nothing like that. Dang. Mm -hmm. Ooh, right off the back. As soon as that one hit the water. That's a perfect size right there. 
he might go in that hole. There we go. Got another one. Ooh, this one feels like he got a little meat on him. Yeah. Look at that big dude. Look at how bright that belly is. Man. That's a beautiful fish. Buddy, I think I'm going to let you go. I don't know why, but I just feel like letting you go. It's your lucky day, buddy. Man, go make some more that look just like you. That is so pretty. Sure. Oh, dude, no. You don't understand. I'm trying to save you. Whew. Good night. I'm trying to help a brother out, and that's what he does. <laughs> Let's go. A little ready at sunfish. A little shell cracker. Look at that. That's three. I say we get one more. And then we'll go uh we'll go check the jugs that we put out and then put out some more. Come on now, take it. Sitting there playing with your food, stealing my worm. There we go. Now it's gonna be the last one, and then we can go now we can go put out some more jugs, baby. Was that a green sunfish? Let me know in the comments. You got so many of these daggum different species, I don't know which ones which. They all perch to me. All right, now while I'm getting these things rigged up, I just want to take a minute to thank everybody who's always watching my videos, everybody who hit that thumbs up, and all you guys in the comments that comment almost every video. You know who you are. Really appreciate that, guys. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing because we're going to be doing a lot more catching cooks uh, from here on out and getting into some wild and crazy things, a bunch of coon-ass things on here down the bayou. Again, I appreciate all you guys for your support. Much love. That jug literally just stand, stood up when I was right here. I heard it go dink. We'll give it a second. Oh yeah, look at it. Something's on there. We'll get him a second, let him get it chewed down. Let that circle hook go to work. Come on, baby, get hooked. Oh yeah, something's on there. Look at it dancing. Look at it dancing. Dance for me. Dance for me. Oh yeah. Oh, oh now he's hooked. Now he's hooked. Come on now. Come on, big daddy. Let's see, we're gonna get this trawler move over here. You still on there? Yeah, you still on there. Come on, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got, boy. Come on, you still on there? Well, don't stop dancing now. Come on, baby. Come on, be on there. Be on there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Dang it. Well, that's a good sign, yeah. Oh, man, oh, Shevitz. All right, well. At least something's out here trying to chew on something. All right, this one just stood up, too. You don't seem to be moving very much, though. Hey, no. Whoa, look at this. Must have been a crab or something eating on that. I mean, there ain't nothing left of that. I'm gonna rebate the throw it back out. Probably should have brought the crab traps. All right, we got one dancing around, boys. Let's we'll see what we got. Let's go ahead and get this net ready. I don't want to take no chances. Oh yeah, he pulling. He look like he hooked good. Come on, baby. Yeah, you stay on that. You stay on that. Come on, don't go too far now. Yeah! Yes! Nice eater too, boy! Uh oh, about to run into the bank. Hold on now. Don't do that to me. Ooh, okay, we're gonna run into it anyway. No bees, no bees. Alright, 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 alright. Let's get on out of here. Come on now. Come on now. Woo! Oh, that one was on the worm too, boy. 
I knew that worm would get him. There we go. I'm gonna throw that bad boy right back out there. Hey, quiet down. We're trying to talk to the camera. Make sure we still got a little bolt on the end of that. Whoa, that's my light. I guess you'll be all right right there. Get your butt up in there. Hmm. That one's standing up. Let's go check it. Other GoPro is having issues. Our second, uh, our second view is having some trouble. That's the one I got uh, a little wet. It got, it got a little wet on the inside. I don't think it's supposed to happen that way. I don't think you're supposed to do that. Yeah, this one way out in the middle. Oh yeah, he's still on there. Come here. pretty one Ooh, look at that's not all that noise you're making blue look how pretty come here buddy come here t-boy let me get you from the underneath so you don't stick me oh nah oh nah take it easy there there we go let's unhook you and we're gonna rebait this one but man look how pretty that is sure oh no wait that's a third one right there i'm over here trying to take a thumbnail of this one i just looked up that sucker dancing too talking about look at that dude there Ooh, woo, that's a big mamu there you go that's three boy parmesan crusted catfish how's that sound good because that's what we're making oh you like this shirt well you can pick one up at shop outdoors.com if you want to help the channel got lots of merch down there check it out so already got the oven heating to 425 got our cast iron skillet coated in extra virgin olive oil get out of here Get out of here, fly. What are you doing here? I'll kill you. I did a little bit of the leg work ahead of time. That way we can uh, speed this process along. So, got the fish, you sucker. Come here. All right, so I already got in this big old bowl here. We got some uh, three quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, three quarter cup of Japanese style panko bread cones. I'm gonna mix in three tablespoons of melted, unsalted butter, a little bit of Crystal's hot sauce, a little bit of lemon juice. Stir vigorously. Now, for the fish, you're gonna to wanna to dry it off because you don't want no soggy crust. So we're gonna take the paper towel, got it sitting on a paper towel already, and we're just gonna pat it down with this here paper towel. Make sure there's no residual water anywhere because the last thing you want is a soggy crust. I'm gonna salt and pepper to taste. Whatever that means. Look at that, y'all. That's a filet from one catfish. That's that big one we caught. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little crusty crust there that we mixed in this bowl. And we're gonna slap a little bunk on that uh, fish. Get out the way, dog. We're trying to do something here. I'm gonna take my hands, get my hands dirty. Hold on, y'all. Come here a little closer. Take a look, see what we're dealing with right, y'all. There we go. I'm gonna put it on there and I'm gonna pat it down. I'm gonna pat that on there. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna shove it in the oven. Woo, doggy. Let that sucker cook from like, I don't know, I think it said six to eight minutes till it's almost done. And then we're gonna slap it on brawl for a couple more minutes. Uh, get that top nice and brown and crispy. Oh, look at that, cuz. Let me grab that out of there. Oh, <laughs> look at that. 
My taste buds can't wait. I think it's probably a good idea we let that cool off before we take a bite. All right, y'all, here we go. This tastes half as good as it looks. Woo! I'm gonna eat the whole daggone pan. Oh, nice and flaky, tender, and juicy. Oh, my word. Oh, that's got to be sinful. Mm, I'm going to have another bite. Oh, my word. Here, yeah, try this. I ain't going to lie, y'all. That's some of the best catfish I ever had. Y'all let me know in the comments below uh, what y'all want me to see. What y'all want me to see? What y'all want to see me catch and cook uh, next. But that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this one, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up button if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't. Join the Bone Gang. Hit that little subscribe button. Join us on these uh, fantastic catching cooks. If I do, if I do say so myself. Okay, bye.